Mr. Truck here. I am in Nashville, Tennessee at the ninth annual NATDA convention. That's North American Trader Dealer Association convention. It's awesome. You have dealer training here. You have vendors here. You have all kinds of things to see if you're in the trader business. And I'm here with Andy Ackerman. He is the president of the NATDA. Andy, how's it going? Okay, it's going great. We're very excited about this year's show. It's the largest show that we've ever held. Uh, just over 300,000 square feet, and we're expecting over 600 trailer dealerships in attendance. Wow, it's big. It's, big. it's bigger every time I'm here. And that means you probably have to move somewhere for the, for the 10th one next year. Where's it going to be? Absolutely. Next year is our 10-year anniversary. We're going to be in Indianapolis, Indiana. Here in Nashville at the NATDA convention in the Doolittle booth. I've always admired Doolittle traders. I thought they were well-built. I'm here with the GM. And this, you are Ryan Werdehausen. Yes, sir. Did I say that right? Yes, sir, you oh, did. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. You got a young group here. I think it's all family. And family. We brought the wives and the brother-in-laws, and we've just been having a good time here. Got a big crew. Got the whole crew from Missouri. Yep, yep. Awesome. Well, what's new for this year? <laughs> We, uh, man, there's so much. I'm so excited about for the 2017 year. Um, we have just completely switched over our paint process. Um, we've always used an acrylic enamel, and I feel that's always been the one thing that held us back. And we just now went to a two-part epoxy, two-part polyurethane paint. Um, we tested seven different paint companies to get the best one. We didn't want to just pick one. Uh, we even did a powder coat panel to test with those paints. And the, the this paint we chose is uh, a very, very quality product. And we're very excited to see what it, what's to come of it. I was wondering, do you guys clear coat the paint like auto industry? No, nope. nope. uh, we, it's a, the two part epoxy, it's gonna mix at a machine and it's gonna, it's gonna mix right before that gets to the gun um, and it's so it's always spraying fresh all the time it's coming out and it lays down like glass well I hear the clanging all day you guys are always oh, testing yeah. it I mean, banging testing it and everything else yeah. and it, yeah. it's holding up so. we did we took uh, the d-ring over there on that trailer and we let dealers just whack on it and I mean I bet it got banged a hundred times and it just wasn't scratching the paint as beautiful yeah, I've, I've been hearing it around the, around the <laughs> showroom here. Okay, and then what else do you have new? I mean, you talking um, about three pumps. Yeah, pump. yeah uh, we also, we come out with, uh, I just found this out. We come out with the uh, three-way pump. It's a power up, power down, gravity down um, on all of our dump trailers standard now. And I just found out from KTI, that's who we're getting them from, that we're the first to do it standard on, on our dump. So that was exciting uh, news to find out. Well, that's cool. You got so that way you, you don't have to chain them down when you're if you're loading your backhoe in the back and all that, or your skid loader, I guess, in these traders. Yeah, and what we did, we used to be a power up gravity down, and we'd have the dealers because it's hard to make everybody happy. And what we would do is we'd have dealers call in and say, you know, in the winter time up north, that on the gravity down, it just it didn't seem like it wanted to come down. So we went to the power up power down, which is a, a upgraded feature. But then you had the dealers that complained it used twice the battery. So we went ahead and we went with the power up, power down, gravity down. So you have all those options. And when you don't need the power down, you can always hit that gravity down. And you're not using no battery at all. It's, it's nice. That's good. It's, it's hard to keep the batteries charged on a dumper. You know, because I've got. The 110 plug in charger, you don't, there's no, there's no taking the box apart and hooking a battery charger up to it. You just plug a 110 extension cord right into oh, that's it. good it, it, keep it charged at night yeah it's I like that option we also uh come standard with a uh, wireless remote oh that's on, good on all of our dumps anything that gets a hydraulic power unit's going to come with a wireless remote also um i was actually amazed while ago yesterday um i was just playing around and i was 200 feet away and i hit the button i had it on my side and I, it the dump went up and down. It was incredible. <laughs> I, even, I told the KTI guys they were they were extremely impressed with it, and well, I, I've been impressed with them. So. That's awesome. Anything special about the axle, the Easy Lube Dexters? What are they? Yeah, um, well, we was using the Alco Axis, and Dexter bought them out. So uh, we're getting Dexter's Alco Axis. It's it's 
uh, slow transition, but eventually, yes, it'll be all Dexter axles, okay. all easy lube, lube axles. All of our 14Ks come with a, a slipper spring suspension. Okay. A lot of other manufacturers, you'll notice, will use an eye to eye. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that shackle system, that's an RV thing. I don't like yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. Slippers last forever. I, I've always liked them. Yeah. Any with torsion axles on any of them, like the cargo haulers? All of our premier cargos. I found um, when it comes to warranties, nine out of ten axles, nine out of ten axles, when you have a warranty as a torsion, the, the Springer suspension, it just seems so much more durable. It's not as smooth of a ride, but long lasting. And when you do got to change that axle out, it costs 50 bucks versus 250 bucks because someone's got to get in there and cut it off or yeah. unless you have the remove the bolt on style right right another thing we also did on our dumps is we're uh, uh tarp roller kit standard on all of our 82 wides oh that's good because you know in a lot of states you can get in big trouble if you don't have a tarp is, are your led lights on everything LED lights on everything except for our uh, our economy lines we've we've got a little trailer we call the little woody it's a little two foot high sided um Oh, yeah, I see it over there. Yeah, yeah. It, it just come out. Uh, we're excited about it. And uh, so we don't we don't have the LEDs on it. It's, like I said, an economy line. Um, it's going to compete with a carry-on type of trailer. Uh, and then our economy line equipment trailers and our, our other economy line utilities. Okay. But we have, we have different levels in every trailer we build. Because we know there's that guy that is looking at price, then you know there's that guy that's looking for quality and price, and then you know there's that guy that's always just, he's looking for the best of the best. Yeah. So we've got all three. You got dealers all around the country? or all over the country. Uh, anywhere from Washington all the way to New Hampshire. Well, that's good. Covers a big area. You're kind of in the center of the country, Missouri's yeah, yeah. almost the center. We're a one-stop shop. <laughs> Well, that's good. I mean, the car, the car traders, the cargo traders, the flatbeds, the tilts, everything. This is awesome. Anything else new for what you just came out with? Ah, uh, man, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. <coughs> I know I'm forgetting something, but uh, I guess the only way to find out is become a Doolittle dealer, and you'll, you'll see all the new features. Is that your website, Doolittle.com? DoolittleTrailers.com. DoolittleTrailers.com. Awesome. Well, thanks, Ryan. Thank you, man. I appreciate you it. You betcha. Mr. Truck here, some exciting news. My book is finally out. I wrote this book with Andre Smirnoff of the Fastlane Truck. It's the, the Fastlane Truck's guide to pickup trucks. And what that means is Andre talks about all the different stats in here, the different races we did, the different tests we did, climbing up the mountain with loads, doing miles per gallon with loads, doing the track with loads, all these different things uh, to help judge a truck and then pick about the best ones. He talks about future trucks. On my side, I talk about how to judge a used truck. Should you buy a new truck or a used truck? Should you buy a diesel or a gas truck? So all those things are in there. We talk about transmissions. We talk about trailers, how to get the trailer matched to your truck so it's a safe towing experience. So we talk about payload, how to figure that, girls combined weight rating, axle weight rating, tongue weight, all those different things. We talk about teenage safety when they learn to drive. So we're doing a lot of that in the book. And you can get this at all the independent stores like Tattered Recovery. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. And it's just awesome. If you want to look up Google, just go Truck Nets Book. Make sure you put book in there or you might be surprised. But buy the book. Mr. Truck here at the NA TDA in Nashville. We're looking for the new stuff, the cool stuff. And we're here at the premium supply booth with Jeff. So, Jeff, I know this is new. What in the world is it? It is a uh, system designed specifically for hydraulic lift gates on semi trailers, okay. which is very similar to a hydraulic system on a dump trailer. Right. In this scenario, you have the battery that's operating your hydraulics. 70 feet away from the alternator. So this boosts your voltage so that you get a much better charge while you're driving down a highway. This amplifies the voltage. Yes. And I know you've got a really cool solar panel. I use it all the time, a 5 watt on these to keep the batteries charged and conditioned. Yes. And then this here just amplifies it. So the two of those together, you should never have a dead battery. Well, I don't know about never. <laughs> uh, the thing about batteries is people see them their whole life. They usually see them on a car or a truck. In that scenario, you see an alternator regularly. And usually you start your car, the starter only goes for a couple seconds and that's it. So you pull very few amps out of that battery. So you take that same battery and you put it on a trailer, now you got two different scenarios. One is the alternator is only being seen through this and it's only being seen every once in a while, not every day. So it doesn't get much. These are very inefficient in charging a battery back here. 
And then the other thing is, when you run this motor, which is very much like your starter motor on your car, instead right. of running it for two or three seconds, you're running it for a minute up yeah. and down. So you're sucking a lot more amps out of these batteries, and you're putting a lot fewer amps back in the battery. So consumers who have these type of products need to know that they need to be manually charging these batteries regularly, and we have a variety of ways to do that. Uh, this helps a lot. This helps a lot, but the customer does have to remember to plug them in. Okay, that's a manual charger capacitor. This, this is an 8-amp charger. Okay. We also offer a 1.5 charger, which isn't a bad charger, but people tend to run these batteries down, and then they want an overnight charge, and our trickle charger won't do that. Right. This will give you an overnight charge. Ours also comes with an onboard tester, which is kind of nice. If you got a job coming up, you can hit this button, and you can tell whether or not your battery is full or if you need to charge it before you go to your job. Uh, and then the solar panel stuff that you know about. Uh, I can tell you a little bit about that if you'd like. Well, yeah, something like because I knew about it, how it knocks the, what, the sulfates off the lead plates back into the solution and all that yes. and conditions your battery. We were looking for a rugged solar panel for uh, dump trailers or, so it takes rocks and debris and looked high and low till we find these guys. And their biggest customer still today is the U.S. military. So their solar panels can handle rocks and debris, you can hit them with a hammer. Well, they had another feature that I wasn't looking for beside the rugged part. Uh, it's a pulse. Their claim to fame is that pulse. That's why they're called Pulse Tech. And this put a little high frequency pulse into the battery and it keeps lead acid batteries from sulfating. And the way I like to talk about it is if you buy a brand new five gallon gas tank, a year goes by and now it's four gallon. Two years go by and now it's a three gallon. You're losing capacity and eventually it'll kill your battery. If you keep that from happening, let's say you've been changing this battery out once every two years, you're going to get eight to ten years out of these same batteries with this pulse. And they take that pulse and put it in a variety of products, either in a shop charger like we use to keep this battery up while we're at a trade show. Uh, if you have a golf cart that you plug in every night, you don't need the charging, you can just buy the pulser and it'll keep those batteries fresh. And I don't know if you've ever replaced batteries on a golf cart before, but they can be 500 plus. Yeah, I've got golf cart batteries on my RV, my toy hauler. And I've got RV batteries on everything else, and they're fortune, you know, it's all, they're all like 100 bucks plus, everything is. And my golf cart batteries were 150 for my little six volts, two of those. So you got $300 in batteries just on my toy hauler, but no, that's cool stuff. The uh, term uh, parasitic draw? <laughs> yeah, I have. I, we, we talk about that in trucks and stuff. Okay, well, whenever people sell these trailers, a lot of times they'll have the battery cables disconnected before it gets to the dealer to eliminate any parasitic draw. We also offer a master shutoff to help do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. The RV business has been using that forever, and I've got one on my toy hauler. But, yeah, that's that's an important thing is to shut that power off when you're not using it, you Another know. Thing, talking about a battery similar to a gas tank, if you've got a gas tank sitting on a shelf, it's got a little hole in it. That's just like a battery. This thing's sitting on a shelf. It's got like a pinhole. It's constantly losing a little bit through parasitic draw. Now once you start adding things to it, your uh, hydraulic motor, your wiring harness, Whatever it may be, that little hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Your parasitic draw gets bigger. So anything you can do to help prevent that with a master shutoff or put a solar panel on there to offset that will help that battery live a lot longer. Because some trailers sit for months before they get used. With a master shutoff and a solar panel, you can let it sit 10 years, and it's going to fire right up. But let's say that guy gets a job, now he's dumping 10 times a day, 10 days straight. He's going to need all these products to try to keep up with that. No solar panel will keep up with that kind of amdraw. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's the big difference of using them every day. Yeah, cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you more. Yeah, and you'll be next year at what Indianapolis for the 2017. Yes, sir. Well, thanks, Jeff. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Martha. All right. <laughs>